Problem 25 is another SDI relative density uh, problem where we're trying to decide if a stand should be thin. Uh, the difference here is we're not giving trees breaker. We have to do one additional step before we get into our problem to calculate. So let's start there. We know this stain is planted on a 15 by 15 foot spacing. So let's figure out how many trees breaker that is. 43 by 60 divided by 15 by 15. So there's the short way to calculate trees breaker from spacing. And that equals 193.6 TPA. So now we have tree breaker and QMD. We've assumed no density dependent mortality since initial planning. So that's still our correct tree breaker. So now we can go straight into our normal process here. So step one, calculate SDI. So that equals 193.6 tree breaker times, or can be just eight, eight, 10, which is 1.605. And again, order of operations, 8 divided by 10, 0.8. Raise 0.8 to 1.605. Then take that whole number and multiply it by 193.6. And that will give you 135.3 10-inch tree breaker. Okay, step two. Relative density equals SDI over max SDI. Which in this case is 135.3. We have to memorize our max SDI for lava life finance, 450. And this is going to equal 0 0.30. I can multiply that by 100 to express it as a percentage. So that equals 30% relative density. So that's the key number that we needed from all of this. And so now step three, interpret. We know the management zone for Southern Yellow Pines is between 30 and 45% relative density. Here we see this stand is at the lower limit of the management zone. So should it be thin? No, that will leave it understocked. It should be allowed to grow until it gets above 45%, probably closer to 55%. So there's one extra step at the beginning, calculate tree breaker, but otherwise it's the exact same problem we've already seen previously a couple times, uh, determining thinning regimes, using SDI relative density. 